What's up everyone? Happy Template Tuesday. April Dunham here. In this video, I'm going to be continuing and finishing up my series on the Project Oakdale templates. So far, I've covered the inspection and issue reporting templates, and the last remaining template that I'm going to be covering today is the Employee Ideas template. As always, I'll show you how to install the template and how it works. All of that coming up. To get started with the employee ideas template, you're going to open up the Power Apps application with inside Microsoft Teams. And you'll see the three templates that are currently available to us. So you'll want to select the employee ideas template from the list. You'll see a brief overview of what this template will look like and what it will do. Just click the add to a team button. And this will take you to another screen where you'll select what Teams channel you want to use this app in. So you can do a search for your team channel. So I can search for HR and select the general channel, for example, and click set up tab. And on this screen, we can choose whether or not to post to the channel about this tab being created. So if you don't want to do that, just uncheck that. Click save. And this is going to, in the background, set up the employee ideas application for this team. So you can see that it's installing the app right now. So just wait a few minutes. This could take up to five minutes to provision. Once the app installs, you'll be prompted to select the channel where you want messages to be posted. So even though we've said to install this application on a particular channel, we can specify which channel to post messages to if we need it to be different. So I'll keep it with the same general channel here and we'll select let's go. And the way this particular template works is around the idea of a campaign. So you would create a campaign or a topic of things that you want to get ideas for. So the four sample scenarios that you see that this template includes are workplace safety, food, in-person meetings and return to workplace. So you would click on a particular campaign. So let's take a look at the return to workplace one for an example, and we can add an idea to that campaign. So we see this particular one has six different ideas that have been posted. So here's one on social distancing. So what we can do is we can click on one of these ideas, see some more detail in a guesstimate of the impact that this idea will have and how much effort it's going to take to implement. And we have the ability to upvote some of these ideas. So we can click the thumbs up and that will give it a like and we're able to sort by newest, oldest, and top voted. So we can kind of keep track of which ideas are the most popular, have the most votes. If you'd like to submit an idea, you can click the submit an idea button. That'll take you to the input form where you can give it a title for your idea. And then give a little bit more detail on that. And these are the questions that you'll see for your particular ideas. So the impact from one to five, how many employees will be impacted from some to all, and the level of effort. You can also attach supporting files. So this supports attachments. We can click the file button. It'll take you to the browse window. We can attach something it'll show below. And we can add an image for the idea to represent the idea. And when we were setting this up, if you recall, it asked us what channel to use to post messages. Well, this is where that comes into play. We have the option when we submit an idea to share in a channel. So the default is on, but we can toggle that to off or on. And when we submit the idea, if we have that on, it's going to post a message to the channel about that. It gives you this thank you message. We can return to the list and then there's my new idea that I just submitted. And we can see that there's a attachment to that. So if I go into the channel in the post tab, you'll see that the new idea was posted to the channel so that everyone can see. And on this dashboard screen, so not only do we see the different campaigns, but we can see the top ideas for the week and the weekly top contributors. If you watch my other videos on the inspection and issue reporting templates, you know those particular templates had two different apps, one for a management perspective and one for the actual end user application. The employee ideas, on the other hand, is just one application. So from the one app, you can add campaigns, you can configure some settings, and you can submit ideas. As far as the campaign side goes, if you click add campaign, this will let you create a new campaign that you want to get and collect ideas for. So if I wanted to get ideas for the company Christmas party, I could submit that, give some details, and you can designate how long you want particular campaigns to run. So for this one, I probably need it to end a little bit before Christmas time, so I'll set that here the Monday before. So from starting now till then, that's when this will run. And you can customize these questions that show. So that's when, when I was submitting the idea in the return to workplace, you notice we had three or four different questions I had to fill out. Well, this is where you customize what shows. So you have two different types of responses that are allowed. There's reading and a text response. And this can be short single line of text or multi line of text by toggling that. 
So I can leave the impact and the effort and I can add a question here. Maybe um, how much will this idea cost? And for that, I might switch that to a text response where they can put in a dollar value. Can move these up and down with the arrows here. And you can delete one with a trash can. We can specify a cover image. And when you specify that, there's some stock photos that you have to choose from, or you can upload your own. So I'll just select one of these stock photos. And again, we have the option here to post to the channel about this. So if you have a new campaign, you could do that and click add. And you'll see it's actually giving me an error here because in this case, the description is a required field. So I need to fill out a description for this idea. All right, now if I click add, that should let me submit that. And we see that show up here on the left-hand side of Manage Campaigns. You can return to the list and it's letting us know with this different color coding uh, how many days are left for these. So if it's expired, it's gonna show in red. Uh, if it's not started, it'll show yellow and then anything else will be green. Now, if I were to submit an idea for this new campaign that we just created, we'll see those custom responses that I have. So I can put in a dollar value of how much that'll cost. At any time, you can go into a campaign and change it. So you can go in, say, for example, to this communal spaces and click edit. And we can customize the questions, change the duration of how long it will run and all that. We can also delete a campaign from here and the duplicate is a pretty nifty function. So if there's a campaign that is really similar that we kind of want to copy a lot of the content from, so maybe these questions, we can just click duplicate and that will essentially create a copy of the, so you can submit a new one and just change the information slightly. At any time, if you need to change the channel that these messages post to, you can click the settings icon and change that from the drop down. Now this is going to be limited to the team that you have this installed in. So you could have this employee ideas template installed on multiple different team sites. So maybe you'd have different ideas in your HR site versus your IT or marketing site. So you're limited to posting just to channels within the given team that you're in. There's also a help button built in. So if we click that, you're going to be able to read some documentation out on docs.microsoft.com about this template and what it can do. And I'll include a link to this in the video notes as well. And links to the community, which will take you out to the Power Users community to get help. And links to the ideas section for the employee app. So if you're using this and you have some ideas you want to give for feature enhancements for this template, you can submit those here. So that's all there is to this template. Uh, pretty straightforward, as you can see. It's really useful for ideas or a suggestion box type scenario. Now that I've covered all the Project Oakdale templates, if you do have any ideas for templates that you would like to see that aren't included in Project Oakdale or the default Power Apps templates, let me know and I can see about making a template for that and posting about it here on Template Tuesday. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.